three examples mm -hmm. why I say that the whole European Union and the whole North Atlantic community is super, super hypocritical on that. There's a huge hypocrisy uh, in this regard. Specifically on the For, sanctions. Yeah, yeah, on, and on this whole relationship yeah. with Russia. Three, just three quick instances. First, I'm personally responsible in the government for the construction of the new nuclear power plant in Hungary. On nuclear, we are on the same page with the with, uh, with United Kingdom. Maybe not on the fact that we are working together with the Russians on that, but, the, but on nuclear, we are on the same side. So uh, in 2014, we signed a contract with the Rosatom, which is the Russian nuclear energy company, to build a nuclear power plant for us. Okay? We are now building the nuclear power plant, the land preparation, everything is going on. Russians, OK? If I take you to the site tomorrow, you will see huge works going on. But you will see American, German, and French subcontractors working on the site, paid by the Russians to work there. OK, so this is my first point. Second point of mine. We have been under constant pressure not to work together with the Russians on nuclear energy, not to buy nuclear fuel from the Russians. I mean, if we don't buy nuclear fuel from the Russians, we have to shut down the nuclear power plants of ours, uh, nuclear power plant, which uh, currently uh, covers 33% of, uh, of the electricity demand of ours. OK, st stop, stop buying nuclear fuel. Who was the number one supplier of uranium of the United States last year? Russia. United States spent more than $1 billion on Russian uranium last year. Russia was the number one uranium supplier of the United States last year. And they are putting pressure on us not to buy fuel from the Russians. Third point, uh, third point uh, I want to make. Um, oil. The Western Europeans are so proud of themselves. We got rid of Russian oil. You Central Europeans, you could not make it. You know, that's how much we are better than you. You know we got rid of Russian oil. Share of Russian oil to India was below 1% before the war. Now it's very close to 40%. Before the war, Europe was not buying Indian oil. Now Europe is the number one customer of Indian oil. Indian oil, OK? So, and since we are not buying it, I guess there are others in Europe who are buying it. And those must be those who say that they are not buying oil from Russia. So, so when it comes to cooperation with Russia, I understand it's very easy to say that, you know, Seattle is friend of Lavrov, Orban is meeting with, uh, with Putin, you know, you Hungarians, you are, you know, traitors, you are the propagandists of Kremlin. Very easy to say. But when you look behind the scenes, you look behind the scenes, you see that those who are accusing us, they are making much bigger business and much bigger deals with the Russians than we do. So, I mean, you have to look at facts. I understand politics is, um, you know, most, on many occasions about perceptions, ideologies, whatever. But if you look at the facts, then you find some surprises. But, you know, with not everybody is, you know, ready enough, you know, to look, uh, look after these facts. So that would be my answer on that.